starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Blueberry pie, and I don't want to disappoint him. Last night he said he wasn't going to eat any more pie because he was getting fat. <laughs> that was last night. But what did I do with all those berry cans? Come on, help me look for them. Go to work. Full? Three beds. Lassie! Good morning, Mr. Miller. Come in, sit down. Hello, Clay. Well, this isn't exactly a social call. Have you seen Lassie around lately? What do you mean, lately? She's around all the time. If Jeff's here, she's here. <laughs> Have you seen her in the last hour? What are you driving at, son? Well, a man from the city was fishing at the lake. He claims he saw Lassie frothing at the mouth. He drove into town and reported it to Doc Wilson. Doc called me and told me to come out and get Lassie. Get Lassie? There's been some rabies around, Ellen. Clay, I always give you credit for having common sense. But where in tarnation would Lassie pick up rabies? I had to shoot Lynn Herbert's dog a week ago Monday. They've had two or three cases over at Doketown. Has she caught any foxes lately? Lassie? Why, she ain't caught a fox in the... She caught one a few days ago near the hen house. Huh? Here they come. I'm telling you, Ellen, this is downright foolishness. Please. Hi. Hi, Jeff. Say, those look good. They're not very big this year, but there's a lot of them. They'll be fine, dear. Uh. What you doing? Leave it on her, Jeff. Oh, why, Mom? She's never had a muslin in her whole life. I know, dear, but... Clay's got to take her away for a while. Take her where? Easy, girl. Where, Mom? A man fishing at the lake reported seeing Lassie frothing at the mouth. There's been some rabies around, and, and Clay and Doc Wilson both feel we shouldn't take any chances. So Clay's taking her to the county pound, where she'll be kept under observation. But it won't be for long, will it, Clay? Just three weeks. Three weeks? Gramps. Well, there's nothing we can do about it, boy. You understand, don't you? I'd better take her collar and leash. She won't go with you unless I put a leash on her. Sure, Jeff. Come on, girl.
They'll take good care of it at the pound, Mr. Miller. I ain't arguing that. I ain't even disputing she might have picked it up. All I'm saying is that that dog's been running free since she was a pup. You muzzle her and lock her up away from Jeff, and she won't eat nor drink. And the next thing you know, she'll be dead. She'll be all right. I'll see to it. If anything did happen... Don't worry. Ellen! Clay! You want to know how Lassie got the foam on her snoot? Well, this is her water bowl. And Jeff put his bubble pipe stuff in there, and she stuck her snoot in it. Clay. And then she ran down to the lake to wash it off. I think you're right. Jeff! <laughs> Jeff! You can't jump to conclusions. Now, if we hadn't found this... Jeff's gone. Gone? The muzzle was on the floor in his room. Well, he couldn't have gotten far. I'll go out. All I could think of was to take Lassie away. And for nothing. Now, now, there's no real harm done. Chances are he's over to Joe King's or went over to Porky's. Come on, we'll call around, huh? Broadway? He's driving over to Capital City. He'll, he'll keep an eye out for him. No sign of him at the lake? No. Clay call?
where'd you come from? Kind of young to be hitting the road, ain't you? That's a nice dog you got there. He don't bite, does he? It's a she. Oh, won't have no trouble then. <laughs> I'm one for the ladies. <laughs> Come here, Gailey. Come on. Come over here. enough to stay out of trouble. Somebody's bound to spot him. You can't miss a little boy with a big collie dog. He's been gone since noon. Hello? Oh, yes, Matt. Fart? Well, what is it? Matt Brockway. He saw Jeff and Lassie in Capital City. Oh, yes, Matt, I'm listening. Yes. Of course. All right, thanks. But when did you see him? Why didn't we bring him back? Jenny, Ellen, call Clay Horton and tell him Matt Brockway saw Jeff and Lassie in Capital City. Yes, that's right. Why didn't we bring him back? He called to Jeff, chased after him, but Jeff disappeared in the freight yard. Oh, well, now. <laughs> Now that uh, we know where he is, they'll pick him up within the hour. So don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry. Side of town. She stops here to water up. Why don't we ride into town and get off there? No, too many cinder dicks. <laughs> the yard is crawling with them. Bad ones, too. Throw you in a pokey quick and you draw breath. There's a hopo jungle in the woods about a mile back of the water tower. We can get some grub there, maybe, and clean up. And on the way over, you and me can have a little talk. Huh? <laughs> Follow me. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, son. I got a stone in my shoe. Can't get very far with that. Like I was telling you, running away from trouble don't get you nowhere. Of course, nine times out of ten, the trouble you run away from ain't nothing compared to the trouble you run into. Just like this hole in that sock. The more you travel, the bigger it gets. Well, I guess we're ready now. <laughs> We haven't got far to go. Come on, son. Well, if it ain't old Jason. What's new? Not much, Tex. <laughs> Beans, huh? Yeah, they was all out of caviar and filet mignon. Who's the kid? He's a friend of mine. Sit down, son. Dish him up some. Got a spoon? Sure. And how about a napkin and a finger bowl? <laughs> there you are, son. You must be going off your rocker, Jason. You get caught bumming with a kid, you'll get the book thrown at you. He ain't bumming. You run away from home because they try to take the dog away from him. And I'm going to see that he gets back. Yeah. <laughs> Big-hearted Jason.
wants to pitch. You ain't tying up with no kid and a dog just for kicks. Has he got any scratch? Look, you weasel. Whatever it is, I'm in. Them was my beans you fed him. Don't try to cold deal me, Jason. There ain't gonna be no deal. Hot or cold. He's a good kid, but he's scared. And I'm gonna see that he gets back home. That'll be the day. He's got scratch in your ass for it. But I'm in, see? Even split. Come on now, let's get it. You touch him and that dog will rip you apart. Not me, he won't. Okay, I'll take care of the mutt. You roll the kid. Nothing doing. You gonna do what I say? No. Kid, wake up. Run. You gonna shell out, or do I have to beat the dog's head in? Come on, come on, let's have it. You know what? Your scratch, your money. Like I told you, the minute you turn your back on trouble, you got more trouble facing you. Lassie! Got the money back. Oh, good girl. Say, we gotta get out of here. She must have given Tex a bad time. And he'll be back. There's a fast eastbound freight pulling out at noon. We can hop it if you still want to go home. Good. Douse that fire. And I'll get my bindle. And we'll be on our way. This is where you live, huh? I wish you'd come in and meet Mom and Gramps. You'd like them. Chickens, cows, and green fields. Real nice. Please come in. Uh, better leave it this way. Well, bye, son. And don't forget what you learned about trouble. Face up to it. I will. And thanks. Thanks an awful lot. Oh, hi, Lassie. <laughs> what is it, Ellen? Uh, I thought I heard Lassie barking. Hi, <laughs> Dad! Jeff boy, where you been? Far away, Gramps. Too far. It's all right, Mom. Please don't cry. I understand now. 
I'm not afraid to send Lassie to the pound. Oh, sweetheart, she doesn't have to go. If only you waited a few more minutes. It was your bubble pipe stuff. You put it in her water bowl, she stuck her snout in there and got foam all over her. Lassie, you dope. <laughs>